Muddy Drill Sergeant. First of all, I got mad respect for the uniform and all servicemen. Past and present. Except for one. Here's my story. When I was 19 I did my military service as was custom for young men in my country. See, I am not American. Anyhow, I did enjoy my time in the defense force quite a lot. Made some new friends. Learned a lot of new stuff and I also bought me one year of thinking of what to do with my life. I had some plans to continue in uniform one WSY or another but that is not really interesting in this story. What is interesting is some badic facts to keep in mind during my story however. First of all I did my military service 15 minutes drive from home. Which meant I knew all the area around the base pretty well since I had grown up in there. I am also that kind of person that will ask questions to learn more and who will always try to put in my best effort in everything I do. And also, to learn the rules. As a new recruit there is a ton of things to learn. How to dress. How many buttons to button and so on. Shaving of the hair is encouraged but not mandatory. Same goes for facial hair. Personally, I enjoy having a bit of hair on top but shaved on the sides. And here my antagonist enters the story. One of the three, drill surrogates, that was set to teach us the basics of soldiering. I was quick to learn the ropes. Maybe not the most fit of the recruits but certainly not the sloppiest either. Every morning we would line up for inspection and the drill sergeants would inspect each and every one of us recruits, often finding small defects to complain about sending us away to correct. And each time it happened me I would always smile and say, yes sir, and go and correct it. Knowing there was nothing to correct. It was just a way to drill us. Now, one of the sergeants, let's call him Sergeant B. Sergeant B always found something to complain about on everyone and I think it annoyed him that I always smiled. Sergeant B was shorter than average and somewhat rounded. Not fat. Just a bit chunkier than average as well. Instead of talking loud like the others he preferred screaming. Especially in the face of people. I guess he had seen too many war movies with bad drill instructors in them. That did not go down well with us conscripts really. We quickly lost respect for him as a person but we did respect him for being our superior officer or his uniform if that makes sense. Anyhow, he did not seem to like me at all and would always mess with me. And one day I got my revenge. It was in the fall. We were outside the base training for a bigger exercise coming up. They had divided us into groups of eight and our mission was to relocate from one location to another. We had all our personal equipment like backpack, weapon and so on plus the group tent, stove and heavy machine gun. So we were quite heavy, equipment wise, and I was assigned group leader this event. Good thing, we were in an area I knew well so navigating wad easy since I knew all paths in the forest and so on. And Sergeant B was tagging along, not knowing I knew the area, but my team knew. The path we took ended up at a small swamp and would split so you could walk around the swamp on either side. I decided we should take a 5 minutes rest since we were ahead of schedule anyway. Sergeant B did not like that even though I think honestly he was the one who needed it the most since he was the one huffing and puffing despite he didn't carry anything except his uniform and a water bottle. I asked my team which side around the swamp they wanted to go and told them the pros and cons of each way. I don't remember which way we choose. But I remember I picked up the machine gun. 12.4 kilograms. So quite heavy. Now Sergeant B intervened and demanded I check the map. But I said we already decided to go round the swamp. For some reason Sergeant B wanted us to cross the swamp. It looked dry enough to cross but I declined and said we'd go round. This is where he pulled rank and demanded we cross. Cue my malicious compliance. I asked him if he would take command of the group and lead us across to which he replied. I'll take command. Group. 
follow me. So I stood down and let him past me. I think he managed to take about one and a half step into the swamp before he had sunken down to his waist in mud. We decided not to follow him and instead we all just looked at him. After a while one of the others asked him, any new orders sir? We pulled him out of the swamp. He was furious but didn't say a word. He walked back the way we came in his wet muddy uniform. The rest of us continued around the swamp. We did not see him back in camp that day. After that incident he did not bother me anymore for the rest of my conscription time. No TL. Doctor here. Sorry for that. Kudos. Succinct, dirty MC with consequences. Bonus points for military and non-US. 8 man and 19, guessing Sweden? Sergeant Swampass leads the way. Did you nickname him, Muddy Waters, after that? Conscript, Defense Forces, Toril. This is the way. He he love it. Laughing face, I was also a conscript in the city I lived. So many advantages. Laughing face. R. Malicious compliance. That's brilliant. How did you all not laugh loud and long when he did that? This reminds me of this classic song by Pete Seeger. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals yunjvkx804. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.